so in theater we might have uh, the voice being the main mode of communication in dance it's the body um, but in opera you have it's it's a total art form you have the music uh, which can be an emotional subtext you have um, the libretto you have the stage, you have the lighting, the multimedia, so you're trying to bring all these things in uh, together to make, to make the story um, multi-layered, but at the same time, you know, running towards uh, one framework, I suppose. I think that's a bit of a weird word, but, you know, when we watch the stage, how are we getting our information? And in opera, a director needs to understand that they're not just getting the information from the staging, but they're, they're getting the information from um, the score as well, the, the underlying emotion that's within each note. You know, these performers are singing, they are loving, they are crying on a note, on various notes. And that's a little bit different uh, when we look at uh, theatrical productions. So in 2018, I had the great opportunity to uh, direct the Mass um, at the Esplanade Concert Hall. And I think the most memorable moment for me was seeing everybody on stage. It is very rare that you would get an opportunity to be in the same venue as a hundred, you know, chorus members, as a hundred, you know, uh, uh, players, musicians. And I was so taken aback by the enormity of that particular uh, performance, that particular concert. I'll never forget, you know, just feeling the, the vibration of the music. I could really feel the difference between listening to what was happening through the speakers in certain sections and then the difference that I felt in my body when you had these chorus members singing or you had, you know, these particular instruments being played. It was really amazing um, and it took me aback because I understood that when somebody plays the violin for instance that their experience is being transferred through essentially a wooden box and some horse hair and some some tightly wound strings and then that is coming from the stage to my inner ear and then into my imagination and I could really feel the vibration in my body cavity, do you know what I mean? So it wasn't just, you know, the sounds bouncing off the wood, it was like the sounds bouncing off the bone and the sinews and the fat in my body. And so that, for me, was a memorable experience working with OMM, just really understanding the difference between something that is digital and something that is live. And I hope we get to do that again very soon. <laughs> Um, a lot of people are scared of opera, a lot of audiences are scared of opera and there's nothing to be scared about because you have, you do have all the art forms coming together, acting, staging, uh, choreography, set, makeup, hair, costume, lights, multimedia, I mean it is a total art form. For me, the reason why opera is so special is because it does take all art forms and, and bring them together. I like the opportunity to be able to tell stories, uh, not just with text, but with the body and, and with the strings and the trumpet and the conductor and everything that is available when you work on an opera production. Well, composers once regarded the composition of an opera as the pinnacle of their achievement as a composer. I mean, some of them wrote music, wrote the words, directed it, even created all the staging and involved themselves in the set design, costume design. So that was a way to really engage with many, many more art forms than let's say just a purely musical one. But similarly, it gives us the chance to work with great artists like directors the people on the theatrical side, I mean stage managers, the lighting, the sound, projections, which you really don't get to if you, I mean if, if we just perform symphonies and concertos all year round, 
I mean, those are great, but sometimes we like to push a little more and just really expand our horizons. Mm. So when you have two different art forms working together, they start to inform each other because of their differences and because of their challenges coming together, but they also show more opportunity. You're constantly having to negotiate similarities and differences. And it's those differences, those challenges, which bring each art form forward as well as enmesh them together. The opera is one of the most fluent vehicles that allows all of these different art forms to attach itself together. And it's great to really be able to have a chance to do some of these great work. And of course, we've done one that we are not entirely sure how to classify. Yes. Yeah. So, musical about a mass? Not sure. Not Broadway, sure. opera. I know. <laughs> Concert, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. What's in store for Omim? <laughs> oh, we have no idea either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess it'd be nice to do more operas, more musicals, maybe some of these um, hybrid pieces with some with some theatrical elements, some musical elements, and I guess the world's our oyster. <laughs> yeah. I, I think. The Across the world, there is an opening up of the availability of things that you can see. So I'm looking forward to, to see how collaborations move forward in, in the new normal. I'm sure everyone's really learning from each other now through this process. So who knows what will come of it?